We have already told you about several stunning jewellery pieces Catherine, Princess of Wales, inherited from Princess Diana. However, it's only part of the entire collection of luxurious heirlooms, diamond sets, and tiaras she shows off now. Some adorable pieces Catherine inherited from the late Queen Elizabeth II. Some spellbinding elements previously belonged to Her Late Majesty's personal jewellery collection and are now frequently spotted on the Princess of Wales. Let's start. Sparkly and meaningful royal journey. The late Queen Elizabeth II trusted Princess Catherine with some of her most precious jewels when the former Kate Middleton became a royal family member. When Her Late Majesty passed away, the Princess of Wales continued to honour the late Queen's memory by wearing her jewellery, which symbolised their close relationship and the Queen's trust in Catherine. On 2023, on Remembrance Sunday in the United Kingdom, Princess Catherine displayed stunning diamond and pearl leaf earrings to the public, believed to be a part of the jewellery demi parua of Queen Elizabeth's diamond and pearl leaf brooch. The brooch featured three leaves, each outlined in yellow gold, with a sizable pearl in the centre of each, finished with tiny diamonds. The brooch alone was worth $81,600. The Princess of Wales wore the entire piece at Westminster Hall at Elizabeth's Lying in State Ceremony in September 2022. Then, the brooch seemed to be refurbished. We think the new earring version looks adorable, while the brooch might seem somewhat demanding and showy. What do you think? These gorgeous, flashy earrings perfectly shaded a black Catherine Walker dress and poppy lapel pin. A pair of pearl earrings with clusters of diamonds looked organic on 42-year-old Princess of Wales. The late Queen Elizabeth rarely wore the diamond and pearl leaf heirloom. The last time Her Late Majesty was spotted wearing the brooch was during a 1999 concert in South Korea. Now, prepare for something really outstanding, something worth $83.32 million. It's the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace. The Princess of Wales was lucky to wear this incredibly sentimental Queen's necklace at a 2014 black tie reception at the National Portrait Gallery. Then she paired it with a navy blue Jenny Packham gown. In 2019, she wore it again at a Buckingham Palace reception for the diplomatic corps. The late Queen personally loaned Princess Catherine the multi-million dollar necklace by Cartier. This platinum and diamond necklace was a wedding gift from the monarch of India's Hyderabad state, Asaf Jah VII, in 1947 and became the most valuable piece in Her Majesty's collection. Hyderabad is located in the south-central part of the subcontinent of India, which was then under British colonial rule. A remarkably affluent Nizam told Cartier to let Elizabeth choose whatever she wanted. We must admit, the Elizabeth tastes in jewellery were impeccable. She picked this necklace and a floral tiara with removable components that could also be used as brooches. Cartier created the necklace in 1935. This intricate masterpiece featured more geometric diamonds set in the abstract floral design. Both the necklace and the tiara were made of diamonds set in platinum. The Nizam of Hyderabad necklace is one of the most precious heirlooms in the royal collection. The Princess of Wales has worn the jewellery on many occasions. Of course, we can't omit the magnificent Cartier Halo tiara that adorned Princess Catherine's lovely head on her wedding day with Prince William in 2011. The stunning tiara was estimated at around $1,026 million. The piece consists of 739 brilliant diamonds and 149 baton diamonds. Cartier created it in 1936. Though the tiara is relatively small, it has always been in the main line of the British royal family. King George VII, the former Duke of York, purchased it for his wife, Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. The Duchess of York first publicly wore the tiara at a 1936 charity ball at Claridge's in London to benefit 
the South London Hospital for Women. The tiara features large scroll elements across a geometric band of diamonds, so it's sometimes called the scroll tiara. Queen Elizabeth got it as a gift for her 18th birthday in the spring of 1944. The young Elizabeth was never spotted in Cartier Hollow, tiara in public because of the wartime austerity, but she frequently loaned the piece to her younger sister, Princess Margaret. The Queen's daughter, Princess Anne, was the next royal to borrow the tiara. Her first tiara appearance in public was in the Cartier Halo tiara at the state opening of Parliament in 1967. Then Princess Anne developed a taste for larger headpieces, and the Halo tiara was taken into the vault, languishing in expectation until future Princess Catherine picked it for her wedding in 2011. What an impressive backstory of a single heirloom. Let's move to another piece of jewellery, the Queen's Japanese Pearl Choker. This precious neck piece belonged to the late Queen Elizabeth II's personal collection. Princess Catherine wore the choker to celebrate the coronation in 2023. It is a four-strand pearl choker fastened with a catchy central diamond clasp made by the crown jeweler Garard. Her Majesty got these cultural pearls as a gift from the Japanese government in 1975 when she and Prince Philip visited Japan for the first time. The pearls were deliberately grown in pearl farms in designated environments. They are hard and lustrous, but not as rare as natural pearls. In 1982, the late Queen loaned the choker to Princess Diana. Queen Elizabeth II herself wore it at an engagement in Bangladesh during a 1983 royal tour and a gala with Margaret Thatcher. This photo has become legendary. Her Majesty completed her elegant look with a four-row pearl bracelet embellished with round-cut sparkling diamonds. This wide-form bracelet features the crisscross diamond pavy pearl clasp. Princess Diana also wore the bracelet in 1982. The Queen first loaned the pearl necklace to Kate in 2017 to wear for the 70th wedding anniversary of Queen Elizabeth to the late Duke of Edinburgh. Catherine also wore it in 2021 at Prince Philip's funeral. As we are coming to an end of our Princess Catherine's gorgeous jewellery review, let's move to something less pearly. Here it is, the Emerald Tassel Suite. The Princess of Wales matched these lovely emerald and diamond earrings and bracelet from Queen Elizabeth II's jewellery collection with Jenny Packhamet's green organza gown at an evening reception in Jamaica in 2022. The Queen loaned them to the Princess of Wales during her and Prince William's 2022 royal tour of the Caribbean. It was a demi parure consisting of four pieces, earrings, a necklace, a bracelet and a ring. This exact set is said to be a gift from Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan of the United Arab Emirates. The late Queen first wore it on the occasion of a 1989 state dinner held for the Sheikh at London's Claridge's Hotel. The exact price of the jewellery set hasn't been revealed. However, jewellers made their suggestions, estimating the Emerald Tassel Suite around $1.26 million. This is only a part of Princess Catherine's breathtaking jewellery collection inherited from the late Queen. Please post a comment to share your impressions on the piece that impressed you the most.